All eyes on one man. He scored four in his last three. What will he produce today? Stay with us on EA TV. And this is the scene here at the Emirates Stadium in North London. And I'm delighted to be able to report that it's a perfect day weather-wise. I'm your match commentator, Derek Ray. And my partner, ready to bring you all the analysis and technical talk, is Stuart Robson. And we have live action from the FA Cup to bring you today. It's Arsenal, and they take on Fulham. Thanks, Derek. Well, the hosts are clear favourites going into this tie. But with that comes pressure, particularly against a team that will remain compact, are well drilled defensively, and are a threat on the counter attack. If the hosts don't go through, though, it will be a major upset. And so the starting 11 for Arsenal. Martin Odegaard plays with Thomas Partey in central midfield. And rather than use a strike partnership, they've gone with just the one player in attack. And here's the starting 11 for Fulham. Well, although we have it down as a 4-5-1, it's actually more likely to be a 4-2-3-1. They play with two holding midfield players, a number 10 and two wingers. The system has a nice balance to it. Well, this game should offer plenty. Arsenal get it going. Smith Rowe. Alexander Zinchenko. Played towards the near post. Well, not the best clearance. And problem solved for now. Well, he always has to be regarded as a dangerous opponent. So what should we expect to see from him in this game, Stuart? Well, Derek, over the years, he scored so many goals. It's his ability to come short and then spin in behind defenders at such pace. When the ball's played in behind, nobody catches him and he often gets 1v1 against the goalkeeper and we know what the result is. Pereira. Sasha Lukic. The possession lost, intercepted. And they need to get tighter here. And the cross goes in. Well, it's unable to make anything of the cross. Ivan Cavaleiro. Well, that's really strong play to keep hold of the ball. Well, showing good defensive judgment. Martin Odegaard. Now Zinchenko. Just the challenge that was required. Bobby Reid. And intercepted it. Marie. Partey. On to Jorginho. Oh, great vision. Good use of the ball, but can they trouble the defence? Marvellous anticipation! Now sending it in. Relatively straightforward to mop up defensively. Jorginho. The defender doing his job. Bobby Reid. was a move of great promise they could easily have been in Parte Burhan well, they've given him too much space 
could be. In it goes. The goal for 1-0. And that changes the dynamic. Well, just look at his strength here. He holds off the challenge, he keeps his balance, and he finds the back of the net. It's a wonderful goal. So the ball rolling again with the scoreline standing at 1-0. Pereira. On to Cavaleiro. Walters. Now oh, couldn't bend his run and the flag went up. Crossing opportunity. Zinchenko now potential danger credit to them for winning back possession and there it is the referee's whistle the first half has come to an end here in North London Well, underway once more, and it's going to be fascinating to see what developments occur in the second half. Still trailing, but they're upping the pressure. Good tackle, it'll be a throw. Kevin Mbabu. Well, I think we had a feeling this transfer was going to go through. Thomas Lamar has completed his move to Newcastle. Well, the figure that's being quoted is around the £35 million mark, which in my view looks to be just about right. Let's hope he fits in quickly and justifies that price tag. He read the situation defensively and did his job. But he keeps going. players waiting in the middle can he convert Reyna would have been disappointed had he not held on Sasha Lukic well the counter chance looks very real Reed just looking for the right moment for that final pass well, I think a classic commentator's curse just then. Couldn't make the ideal pass. Burhan. Bukayo Saka. Options in the middle. And really meat and drink to the keeper under the circumstances. Well, just to point you in the right direction, we have more live action from the Premier League coming up here on EA TV. It's Arsenal taking on Brighton. Textbook defending inside the box. Partey. He's got the score! Oh, a goal for Arsenal! It's theirs to lose now. Well, here it is again, and how many times have we seen this in recent games? Teams trying to play out from the back, not doing it particularly well, giving away sloppy possession, and then getting punished. It's a really poor goal to concede.
So underway once more, 2-0 the lead here. Number eight, Martin Odegaard. Coming onto the pitch, number nine, Gabriel Jesus. Ortega. The ball with Lukic. Good physical play. Fulham unable to retain possession. Saka. Intelligent threaded pass here. It's there for him. And thumped away. Pereira. And snuffing out the danger. In behind for him to chase. Saka. Going to get a try. And blocked for now. Deserves credit for winning the ball back. Now can they counter clinically? And it looked like open road for them, but up a dead end. And no luck keeping possession. Eder Militao. Well, the electronic board showing one additional minute. Now Eder Militao. The final whistle then, and Arsenal go marching on. Well, as the scoreline would suggest, it was a comfortable win, but they had to play really well to get their victory. In particular, I thought their midfield really imposed themselves on the game. They'll need to continue that going into the next round.